Hey, welcome everybody to the San Antonio Marshals podcast. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this DSFL broadcast. Uh, my name is Mike Vick. I'm your quarterback of the San Antonio Marshals. Uh, also known as the best team in the Southern Conference. Just like to start off by uh, introducing and welcoming our two newest members to the team, which are Jake Gore and Vladimir Fyodorovich. So uh, welcome to the team, although I'm new myself, quite new myself, and I hope we um, work towards a very nice year that should end off with a championship, hopefully. Um, Since this is the San Antonio Marshals podcast, let's start off talking about the Marshals. Uh, Right now we're 3-2, which is uh, best in the Southern Conference. We're behind um, a couple of teams in the Northern Conference. Because unfortunately, the um, latest resim, yes, the latest one, um, we went from a two-win team to a two-loss team. We unfortunately fell to the Kansas City Coyotes and the Norfolk Seawolves, both by only a field goal and at home, which was also unfortunate because they were the um, both wins in the original sim that got re-simmed. Regardless, um, we're still atop of our conference 3-2, and two, and we all have high spirits in the locker room because we know we've been doing a great job. We've all been working hard, and Marshalls kick ass. Yes, San Antonio Marshalls kick ass. Um, just want to talk a little bit about our quarterback situation, we've got uh, myself, Mike Vick, and um, Applehort. I believe his first name is Ryan, Ryan Applehort. Um, we've, we're getting along very well, which is a bit strange, because usually professional teams only roll with one quarterback. They don't, they don't platoon them, so to speak. But we've had a very nice system working where it's possible that we both split snaps in a single game, or um, Mike Vick gets a majority of the snaps in a single game, or the other way around, where uh, Applehort gets almost all the snaps in a single game. And it's been working quite well lately, except for I threw a combined three interceptions in the resim when I shouldn't have. Um, well, or when I say I wouldn't have in the recent, not shouldn't have, because my stats are actually quite horrible, and I've been pleasantly surprised that I'm doing so well, quite honestly. Um, and just a reminder, if you're joining in late, San Antonio Marshals are the best team in the DSFL, and we kick ass. And we'll see you in the championship game, if you're a Northern Conference team. Um, going on. We have had a great defense so far. I believe we have had almost an interception in every game we've played, I believe. Um, We've had seven interceptions this year. And let's see. um, Erlacher has one. Masvidal has one. Rashad Williams. Montero. Reyes and Fedorovich, which is amazing. Like, I think that leads the league. Um, let me just check. Interceptions. No, Portland has nine, but hey, we're second with seven interceptions, Tw- or first with 25 pass deflections. We're first with two defensive touchdowns, which is amazing because, you know, if the defense can score points, that just puts less pressure in the offense. Um, yeah, we had a big um, pick six late in the third quarter in week one to bring it back within one and start our comeback. And our second pick six was... not in week two. Not in week three either. 
not in week four either, so it must have been in week five. Huh, no it's not. I wonder where the second defensive touchdown is. Anyways, um, we've been doing a pretty good job. We've got two awesome running backs in Carter Bush and Willie Nyquist. Um, oh, the second touchdown was in week four. Vladimir Fardorovich opened the game with a 46-yard pick six. But unfortunately, we lost that game. But um, Going back to the running backs, San Antonio Marshall's kick-ass. So that, by default, that means... Our running backs kick ass too. Um, Willie Nyquist, 88 carries, 427 yards. That's 4.9 4. yards per carry. Carter Bush, 215 yards on 50 carries. Not too shabby either, 4.3 yards per carry. Um, yours truly, Mike Vick, 111 rushing yards on 20 carries for 5.6. Um... Nyquist has four touchdowns. Bush has had one. I almost had one myself. I mean, we're doing really good rushing. I think we're near the top. No, we're third in rushing, but hey, we're first in our hearts. Um, we have a very good balanced attack, I think. We can pass the ball. We can rush the ball. We have a good defense that can make plays. I mean, you got all the ingredients for a championship team. And it doesn't hurt to have Tijuana, Lucadors, and Palm Beach Solar Bears in your conference because, well, we've beat them both already, albeit at home. But we're facing them both on the road today. Should be any time as you're listening to this right now. And hopefully we pick up two more wins to improve to 5-2 and two and um, get a strong grapple of this playoff picture. That's... We're only halfway through the season, but I mean, if not for the recent, we'd be 5-0 right now, and realistically, it'd be pretty hard to miss out on the playoffs. But we're still confident in ourselves, we're still going to play our game, we're still going to work hard, and we're still going to make the playoffs, because San Antonio Marshall's number one best team in the DSFL. You heard it here first. Um, we're at 7 minutes and 40 seconds right now, so I can still talk for about 2 more minutes. So... Um, just what I want to talk about, um, Mike Vick, because I'm not too knowledgeable about the rest of the team. Um, I'm from the EFL originally, and, um, that's where I got my inspiration from. I wanted to make a dual threat quarterback, a true dual threat, because I heard some good things um, about the play calling in this league and how it's set up that, um... It's possible for dual threat quarterbacks to thrive and make an impact, and I'm certainly enjoying it in the last few weeks watching dots, as I've seen myself break off for quite a few big runs. Um, I think my longest run on the season is 30-something yards, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a 39-yard rush. Also have a couple of 10 to 20-yard rushes. Um... I think I've broken a few tackles, too, watching play by play, so that's always awesome. I mean, I could work on passing a bit more, and I will do that, but you can't have everything at once, which is um, why the platoon works great with Applehort. Um, if he's in the game, we're naturally going to gravitate a bit more towards traditional passing, and when Vic's in the game, we're going to a bit gravitate towards to more mobile quarterback, um, scrambling around, quarterback rushing, making you respect the run. And I can also throw a sweet deep bomb, so that doesn't hurt. And so I really like how the San Antonio Marshalls are built. Um, oh yeah, haven't mentioned them yet. Roly and Run CMC, great general managers. Um, they put great game plans out. They talk to us. They motivate us. They do a great job in the locker room, and enough cannot be said about that. And I'm looking forward to winning a championship this year, and also coming back again next year, and repeating um well thanks for listening um this was the san antonio marshall's podcast and enjoy the rest of the dsfl sim thank you